in Chef Machine news. Chef Machine. Oh, David Din. David Din, you caught his attention. He's not gonna like this. What is it? Who knows? Or maybe he's gonna he's love it. Because it's gonna take your job. Yeah. Taking your job. <laughs> it doesn't take, take a lot of jobs, Zach. Continue. Why? Submitted by Drive Fast, Eat Ass. <laughs> That's funny. That's my life. That's like a redneck license plate cover. Redneck, wow. redneck bumper sticker, yeah. Eat ass. Drive fast, eat ass, man. I love it. I love this hour. I get all weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a man sick of his wife's complaining has invented a smart robot chef. Yeah. I feel like a man sick of his wife complaining starts a lot of great <laughs> inventions. Yeah. That's like a great You're welcome. Yeah. You're yeah. Welcome. Fuck. Oh, what would the world look like without I don't know. Wife is complaining so about the dudes cooking? Yes. I know. I thought that was I good. Know. Some new, new shit. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. This is in China. Well, men are the greatest chefs in the world. They are. They are. Absolutely, yeah. Chinese man. So there you go. Chinese man. Yeah, so this man, he has spent the last eight years creating this smart robot cooker. Yeah, she must complain like I heard hooker, but I know you said cooker. <laughs> yeah, cooker. <laughs> you think as soon as he turned it on, he's like, what, what, what are we gonna bitch about now, huh? Yeah, I got this thing working. What are you gonna bitch about now? Now this thing's working, huh? Yep. You have to say I'll it. find something. He's Chinese. He's I'll Chinese find Chinese something. Chinese accent. Yeah. Oh, it was a Chinese man? Yeah, yeah. start off with Ching Chong China Bong. Ching Chong China Bong. Yeah, Ching Chong China Bong and Bongy Bong and Ching Chong Bong. <laughs> right? That was pretty good. That's the best Chinese Bong and Ching Chong China Bong. <laughs> I'm a little That's bit going to be a t shirt for sure. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm offended by that. No, Why? don't even start. For my Asian people. But that's what they sound like. <laughs> yep. They sound like Ching Chong and Ching Chong. They might not be. I'm offended for them. What? What the fuck? Ching Chong, Ching Chong China, China Bong. Bong. You know what's funny? You know what that, like, race. When you heard a white person say some racist Chinese Asian shit, yeah. there's a guy at the gym that was making some fucking racist ass Asian jokes. However, that dude trained Muay Thai in Thailand for like five years, so I can't say shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it comes from a real place. He's pretty much Thai. He's pretty much Thai. What was his joke? He say some mad racist stuff, but it was like, it was true. But you would only hear that from an Asian person, but I was like, yeah. How's he know all of our secrets? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's because he was in Thailand for hell He's too, too insightful. I like, I like it when people know our inside jokes. Yeah, they know the real shit. Like they know, you know, that uh, that feels like, yeah, oh, that shit, you're that one of us. Me. Yeah, like, you, you oh, get shit. it, you get it, that's cool. So the Ching Chong China Ball doesn't... Really no, that was just ridiculous. It's, just it's absurd, it's the stupidest <laughs> yeah. shit of all time. It's, it's No, it's funny because I know Steve, yeah. and then so hearing that it's different, it's really different from like if I didn't know him. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, because I'm making fun of those guys who do that. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Yeah. 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 And it's sad that we have to explain that to you, fucks. Yeah. Anyways. I want to see. I want to smoke out of a China bong. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be really cheap and shatter soon. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he. And the waiter's gonna come with the thumb in the bowl. <laughs> yep. <laughs> gonna fucking light it up. Does that happen? Yes. They always so serve the yeah, yeah, the soup. Yeah, the thumb, the oh, thumb belongs in the soup. The restaurant. They, they'll literally the put the their wall. fucking thumb in the soup and they'll tell you it's really hot. Be careful with the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and so they'll drop they it on your thing and like half yeah. the soup spills out. Like, oh. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Or they'll slide oh, it to you. They'll slide your fucking shit to you like yeah. that. You'll have your bowl of soup. Like it's a bar. You'll have your yeah, bowl of soup, right? And they'll slide a fucking uh, ice water cup and the ice water will go into your soup. And they do this. They do this. They're like. Anything else? And they walk away. As they ask. As they're asking, I You'll come into the restaurant, sit down, they go, what do you want to order? It's like, how the fuck would and I know? And the menu has like 400 <laughs> options. Oh, wow. Welcome to the 60s. Yeah. Well, we won't have to worry about that if we all got this uh, robot cooker here. Yeah. What does it look like? So this dude is the CEO of a catering <clears throat> company that's based in Shanghai. I don't like this robot. It's fucking pissing me off, man. <laughs> it doesn't even look like... <laughs> It's, there's no humanoid quality. No, I mean, yeah, it, I want it to look like R2-D2 yes. or C... Yes. Give him eyes. I need to know where he stands. <laughs> like a sex robot. See. Like a sex robot that cooks. What is that shoot? That's where You're the food comes from. You're not perfect. Stop acting like one. That just looks like a fucking trash shoot that just yeah. craps out yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, it needs, it needs the, um, the human quality. Yeah. What is it, a stir-fry machine? The future, guys. Yeah. You take and shit. Yeah. You know what, you know what it's uh, reminds me of? You know that fucking soda machine, that Coca-Cola machine with the twenty fucking different brands oh, yeah. and flavors. Oh, that one's sick, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's the future. Bro. I won't know that I've made it until I have that in my own house. You cannot have that in your own house, though. Why? Yeah. You've already you, checked. You need. A, I'll yeah. start an escort. I'll start an escort. Yeah. So you, you can only have. Only certain businesses can have that machine. What? So you can't, like some random fuck can't have it. It's like, it's like certain restaurants, you have to apply for it or some shit like that. You can't just have it. Are why you, are you so sweating? Say. So the reason why I looked that up is because I was wondering if we could get it for the office. Say it ain't so, David. Oh. Say it 
Yeah, yeah. So cuz you can get so you can't get that machine. It's not that easy. I've only seen so a Panda Express, Five Guys. Uh, where else? Yeah. I know where one is. It's at this Perry Perry chicken place. If I'm somebody I'm cool though. Yeah. Maybe if you're I'm somebody Bruno Mars, I can't get it. Maybe if you're Maybe Bruno, if you're Bruno Mars. Mars. Right? <laughs> No, but everything on. Yeah, because I was yeah. thinking like, why don't we I just get that for the office instead yeah. of that fucking little oh, thing that yeah. we always have to flip out drinks, but we can't. What can you get? You get like a Shasta machine <laughs> or some shit. Maybe. RC yeah. Cola. Wait, wait. You know what you can get? This robot cooker. Oh, come on. Are you? Is this wow, <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. That was like your DiGiorno plugs. Yeah, right. Wait, let me so. see this shit. <laughs> so this thing, it's uh, it's available for rent to rent, and uh, and so they're saying for a thousand five hundred eighty-eight U.S. dollars. That's the That's deposit. It? That's the deposit required oh. to rent it, plus one yuan or sixteen U.S. cents for every dish that it cooks. That's it. And it's yeah. Saying, yeah, it's only sixteen cents. And a lot of people that were trying this out, they were like, "Oh, this is actually really good." And then the wife has not complained about the cooking ever. Oh, I thought I thought she was gonna be like, "Well, she doesn't think it's good." Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. She still got to fuck with us. After no. seven years. She still got to fuck with us. The food looks mapa, good. Mapa tofu, what is that? I was that? trying to figure out what kind of food it makes, but I couldn't find that answer. It's Chinese Personally, food. Personally, if five. I'm starving out of my fucking mind and I just want food now, that would be great. Yeah, it's probably a healthy alternative than just getting like instant noodles or something. Oh, and it yeah. has its own cleaning system. Oh, oh shit. Dude, think point. about it. A machine that its sole purpose it exists to make good food. Like, not even chefs are out there feeling that way. Like half of the restaurants you go to, they don't give a flying fuck. Yeah, machines don't have an opinion. Yeah, it machines- has one job. It's like literally put here to do a job and it does it. Like, I trust a machine more. This is how we're gonna lose the, our fucking planet to robots. No, this is how we're gonna save the planet, Geo. We're gonna make the planet better. What? Yeah. You know and then what? it's gonna start thinking for itself and we're fucked. No, if it starts to think for itself, we'll unplug the fucker. There's gonna be so we'll many- We'll climb on its back and we'll start pulling wires out like they do in the movies. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen though? There's gonna be so many Chinese chefs out of the job, so all the alleys of China is just gonna have non-stop smoking guys with three cig- like three fucking teeth, smoking a cigarette, on like crouching in an alley, cause they, they don't have a job. No, or you'll have the bomb of street food of all time that has ever existed. So yeah, fuck the- fuck the- I'm with you, Joe, so that's like really sad. With all of the vending machines for the drinks, but instead it'll be these, and you could eat. But most likely, I time for sixty-seven cents. Oh, everyone's out of a job, 16. brother. Sixteen. Cheaper. Holy shit! Wait, do they tell you how it works? Because I'm like, so what do you do? You just leave like the bell peppers and the fucking chicken, and you just leave it in there. They never do because they don't want you to know how to do it. I yeah. want to know. They never tell you. I, I always well, check that. The only thing it does say is that it takes a cooker three to four minutes to cook a dish. Wow, that's, that's it fast. And that it has its automatic cleaning system. But yeah, it doesn't yeah. really. Three to four fucking minutes. That's nothing. That's tight. Is what that. Is. <laughs> that's ridiculous. There is this one uh, on this in this article. They're saying that a Wei Weibo user commented this: "The most difficult part of cooking is not stir frying dishes." But preparing raw materials, it seems that the cooker hasn't solved the problem of cleaning and cutting oh, the Oh, fuck material. you. They just invented a fucking machine. What have you done? Yeah, what, what, did, you do? what did you do, pal? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, you binge watched Netflix last night, fell asleep. And then now today you gotta that is figure the longest out process. That is the longest process, though. <laughs> yeah, like, it is, but why, but why shit on his fucking parade? You know what I mean? Like, that, why shit on his parade? I don't know if that was negative. I, all I heard was that that's the next step he needs to do and solve. I heard a real I'm whiner. Positive. I did. I did too. I don't know. Cause that's the, that's the thing I was wondering is like, where do you put the food? You know what I, feel, what I feel like? It might already be a preset menu. So it's like, these are the three dishes that you yeah. have. Like and the, then just, well, these are the ingredients. Yeah, it has yeah, yeah. a screen here. If like, that's what like I would do is like, I would have a chicken compartment, right? I would have like a beef compartment. Same. I would just throw all that shit and then here's where the salt is, whatever. And then whoosh, well, That's it. another thing is, this guy's renting it, therefore he's preparing all the raw materials. Yeah, right. he is the CEO yeah, of a catering company. soft. So he's like already dealing with a lot of food. Yeah. Also, if you have this in your house, it's like the Sparklets water people. You know how they yeah. bring that over? They refill so it. So they should have people that come over, fill up your machine. And clean it up. Yeah, yeah. like That's you pick Let's whatever see. menu you want that week or Because the bitch is going to be cleaning it out. That, that's why this is already flawed, right? Because they're always, you're always gonna have a problem cleaning it out. No, I it think. has its own cleaning. Yeah, it has its own cleaning. Didn't he say that there's a problem with the feeding tray or some shit? 
No, no, no. The the comment was saying that they haven't solved the problem of preparing. It's prepping. So like prepping. you have to dice the chicken. But you have to do all that. System. Right. See, until we're able, because everything's made out of atoms and molecules in certain way. Like Thank Star you. Trek. In Star Trek, once they figure out how to arrange whatever the fuck it is in the perfect molecule, like formative machine, it's all. I'm not doing it. I've seen the fly. I'm not doing that. Why? Because I've seen the fly. What if you could have the most delicious food delivered right to you um, in your? That's in your scary. What happens on the fly? Uh, so there's this guy that's been in the teleportation machine, and he breaks up the molecules and atoms and all that shit. And, he and then the fly man. Yeah, and in then the he didn't realize Jeff Goldblum. That. Jeff Goldblum, that fucking creeped me out. Uh, so then he gets in the machine to keep testing it out, and then he doesn't realize that there's a fly in there with him. Oh, no. And then when he transfers over to the other side of the teleportation machine, then he's a he, fly. Yeah, his DNA got mixed with the flies, and he slowly starts transforming into a fly, and he starts peeling off his skin and shit. And there's like all this fur, and then he's. But he's still kind of hot, Jeff Goldblum hot, you know. Uh, he's turning into a fly. He was hot. Hot as fuck. Oh, Jeff Goldblum was one of the, like a sex symbol of the 20th century. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Yeah.